Welcome to the Woman in the Mirror podcast with your host, Siobhan Robinson. And your co-host, Lady J. Hey, Hi, hey, Siobhan. hey. It's Lady J. Hey, hey, hey. It's Lady J. Hey. We ain't did that in a minute. <laughs> it's we been so long. A couple a weeks. How many weeks? Two? At least two. At least two. <laughs> two weeks. A few but things happened in Not because guys. we've been slackers, no, though, right? not at all. We had been um, busy. Resurrection Sunday. Yep. Then the week before that, we just had like a it's lot of a engagements lot. this a week. Lot. Our pastors have... Our pastor has Whew. been busy. You both have been busy. Yeah, yes. <laughs> the church been has been busy. The church yes, has been busy. It's been so for good reason. that's why we haven't um, had a chance to record. Right. But we are back. We are back. And so welcome back. And we welcome hope back, and pray y'all. that you guys have missed us <laughs> and that you will be blessed <laughs> by our topic on today. But before mm-hmm. we go another further, hey. as pastor would say, shout out to the best producer ever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, Jay. That's my son. <laughs> That's a little way. <laughs> a little way. Jay's like, That's I don't have a way. microphone. But. Jay was going in. You know, I, I was a little late. Hopped on live. I was like, listen to Jay. Is he trying to get a, oh, today? a little grunt or something? He has something going on at the front. Baby. I was like, did, listen to the did, voice. Did you hear my baby today? He I was heard saying, him. He, it started with Jay. I had my to double take. <laughs> started with Jay. Okay, Tears I cried from 9 a.m. till we started <laughs> until we ended. Pastor was lit. Church was Pastor lit. Pastor was lit. Church was lit. The choir was Praise off the worship. chain. Praise and worship. KP. Always. Shout out to KP. Shout oh, my gosh. KP. I love my KP so Friday much. He event. is so amazing. I wasn't there Friday, Lit. but I heard he snapped. He snapped. Yes. Per usual. Per, per usual. usual. He's oh, yeah. an authority on Whenever the you give KP a mic, it's going down. It's, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's just over. But, but we're back. We are Shout back. out to Jado, for real. Like. You blessed us today, Jay. You really I did. really hope you know driving in. I that like, you blessed Jay. us today. You really did set the tone. So humble. He's such a humble guy. Oh, he got. It. <laughs> Jay said he's supposed to get a parking <laughs> ticket, but he got a warning, so he was grateful. Okay, so Won't he was he worshiping, it? and I was grateful for traveling grace. Okay, amen. We was in uh, New amen. Orleans over the weekend, and we made it back safely. Thank you, Lord. We was on a little airplane, so thank you. God. The little airplane, not spirit though. Pastor said it wasn't spirit, child. <laughs> wasn't spirit. <laughs> But anyway, welcome back, out. though. We are so excited that you joined us. Yes. Um, I am excited that I, I will be joining the Save Girl podcast yes. with Christina um, and Kia and Yay. Jackie Yay on next week, I believe that is. So check that out. Um, mm-hmm. um, we'll be talking about the virtuous woman all and right being now. a wife and, you know, all that good stuff. I don't know why they chose me for that topic. I don't know why. What I, you mean? I, I, what? I, 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 but um, thank what? so thank you to Christina. We'll be doing that podcast. I can't yes. wait to be a part of that. But I we're gonna jump in that. today. Um, we will not be before you long. We're probably gonna do a part two of this. Um, because we are short on time today as well. But we want to talk about embracing who you are in Christ. Yes. Um, be, our last episode we did. Um, fixing our we crowns. talked about fixing our crowns, right? And we said that in order to fix other people's mm-hmm. crowns and mm-hmm. other women's crowns because yep. we talked about that in light of women's history, women's history month, month. Yep. women's Hi- history month sorry uh, we talked about fixing their crowns mm-hmm. and can you adjust their crown without making noise right without making, making it, it appear yep. yep but in order to fix someone else's crown it really starts with you it does you have to be comfortable with who you are you have mm. to know who you are right mm. you have to be working on healing or being mm-hmm. or be healed um and love who you are love who and you a big are. struggle for us oftentimes we don't embrace who we are Come on. we don't embrace who god has called us to be um we don't start with us we, we would rather start with project everybody yes. else and that energy projects yes. when you are not healed when you are still holding on to hurt and bitterness and you know Low all self-esteem these things. And all, yeah, all, all day. these things that take you from being who God really created you to be, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. today we're going to just talk about embracing who you are in who Christ. Are. And the crazy thing is, before like we Woo. picked this topic this week, right, Shavon? <laughs> we was pastor, toiling with it. We was like, like we're we going to do this with this. Then you we said, yeah, embrace it. That sounds good. That sounds good. Let's stick with it, right? Yeah, pastor come along. But then pastor comes along. <laughs> and his topic today was, you've been chosen you've for, for a, a purpose. purpose. Mm-hmm. First Kings 19. And then 19 through 21. Wow. And opened up. And man, when Out I, the oh gate. my gosh, I just got to tell you, he opened up, the, the quote he opened up with was, and correct me if I'm wrong, Siobhan, he said, God is a master painter mm-hmm. who chooses broken paintbrushes. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. And we've all been broken at oh some gosh. time in our life, right? We're broken right and now. And we're broken right now. <laughs> and some of us are still trying to get put back together. Mm. We're still allowing mm. God to mend us Jesus. back together. But thank God that we can travel on broken pieces. Yes. Because God, yes. right, is carrying us. And that becomes part of our testimony oh, that, yeah. we, that we that that we we that made it on those broken, the broken pieces, pieces. Right? That was a whole sermon. That was a whole too. sermon yes. that he preached, the you know. Ship. Yes. Right? Thank That's God. how I remembered Lord. it. Lord. But um, so he opened up with that. Mm. So today we are going to talk about our topic, but we're going to take it from a different angle. Yeah. We're going to share some of pastor's points mm-hmm. and um, just tie it in to embracing who you are in Christ yes. and knowing that yes. it's OK to embrace who you are in Christ because mm. you've been chosen for a purpose. So like yes, you have before the podcast even started, we had a whole nother podcast. We- like we- <laughs> Up here testifying Woo! to each other, telling cried you, and everything. That wouldn't have made it to the uh being able to buy that. That that's that that's in the vault. That's, that's in, the, in vault. the vault. But it's coming out though. But yes. Oof. So Oof, Siobhan, what wait. you got for us on today? Oh my gosh, so much. I mean, when you talk about him being the master painter though, and from Ephesians two and ten. I think about the scripture for we are God's handiwork oh, created yes. in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And while we might not know what those works are, mm-hmm. the work it takes to trust that it's a plan and how he's doing it, how he's orchestrating it. Like that's the work of a Christian, in my opinion, like you Absolutely. really have to buckle down on like knowing God is going to get you there. You just really have to trust him along the way and and embrace you along the way, too. until he gets to whatever that masterpiece is, you really still have to trust him along the way. And that's I think that was my biggest take uh, point that I took away today was I I like to reject things. I like to resist things that Mm. God is putting in front of me. But I have to trust it's a part of his handiwork and it's a part of the master plan that he has for my life. And when we talk about he's preparing in advance for us to do like that's for the plans he knows he has for us, right? Like he already knows he knows we don't know, but that's where the trust has to come in. And that's the work I think that I do with God every day. It's like, Oh Lord, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna put my plans to the side and I'm gonna trust that this is what you got for me. And that plan is a part of the purpose and Mm -hmm. the embracing yourself in that is, is where I, I feel like I just struggle sometimes. And so I'm just here to encourage people in that way to say, I can relate. I yeah. can relate to, you know, your God's handiwork, but sometimes you just, you question it. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So that, it's, that's a big part for me. And I think a piece of it, why we like, why we question this, because we like to be hands on. Right. <laughs> but if we're hands it's his on, handiwork. Then God is going to be hands, <laughs> hands off, off. Right. Because Can't you get in it. We put our hands in it and yep. we messed it up. Yep. Um, yep. But that's where that faith comes in, right? Mm. We got to know, we have to know that God is working it out for our good. All day. All day long. It's all, all day. For, he, for I know for the I plans know. that for I have for he you. Knows. Like, you don't yes. have to know the plans, right? Mm. And I often, when my daughter was going to school, right, she was kind of worried about, like, getting stuff to where it needed to be, mm-hmm. shipping it out to Arizona, <laughs> making sure that everything, you know, aligned up. And I would Listen. always say, I got it. Listen. I got and she did. Out, right? <laughs> Cause I'm a parent. Oh my god! I'm a mama. I, I got this. <laughs> yes. Right. I yes. don't even. I, I used to tell like I don't even need your help with trying to Come figure on, this out. Lady J. Right. Yes. I don't need your help trying to figure out how we gonna mm. get something down there. Mm. That's my job. I'm your parent. Trust my me. job is to provide for you. Yes. My job is to make a way for you yes. to have to not have to worry about this stuff. Mm. Right. Mm. And a good parent is gonna to do that. Yes. All you gotta do is trust me. Right. Mm. So when we got there, she saw it. She was like, "Oh, okay, Come mama." On. Like when you got there, this was. Oh! This was good, right? <laughs> when you get there. But had she put her little hands in it, mm, it probably wouldn't have worked it, out. It wouldn't have made it. <laughs> how it shouldn't have been. Be- and not because she mm. she was excited. She wanted to know. Mm. And it wasn't that she probably wasn't even capable. Right. It just wasn't her job. It wasn't her job. Oh, first lady. It just wasn't her job. It wasn't her job. I'm her mom. Trying to embrace something, a role that ain't even yours. Exactly. Mm. And that what, that's what happens with us. We try mm. to do things that ain't our job. That ain't our job. We don't have to know. How he's going to work it Mm. out. We don't have to start trying to work it out. All we have to do is just sit back and relax and let him work it out. Yes. And his hands are in it. And his hands are in it. That's what that scripture reminded me. And there's so much peace that comes with that. Just let him him be the driver. Absolutely. Let him be the driver. Absolutely. So one of the the points that Pastor did make was what you're praying against is what you're chosen for. Like, Listen. Okay. What? Let, so, put the paper down. Put the paper down. The 
mic drop on that. You praying against things. So say you are, you trying to be a part of something that's not even your role, but over here, he makes it so clear to you, like, this is what you should be doing and you resisting it and you are, you fighting against it, but that's what you're chosen for. Like stay in your lane, yes. stay in what, what he has for you and stop getting de- mm. distracted by what everybody else has going on. Like that is a huge part of embracing yourself is to really look at you, focus Listen. on you. Mm-hmm. Mm. And a big part of embracing yourself. And I'm coming back to that because mm-hmm. all of this is about to tie together. Right. Oh, hey, break it that down. is no, I'm just like, cause he preached to me. Like I just went and told him like I was bawling the entire sermon. Tissue. Just everywhere. But remember, Shema, we talked about before the podcast even started, like who you get and where you get your identi- identity yes. from makes all the difference. Yes. You can't even embrace who you really are unless you find your identity in, in Christ, Christ. Right. Mm. So let's start there. Mm. Know that your identity mm-hmm. lies in Christ. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yes. Don't let others define you either. Yes. And we get in trouble a lot mm-hmm. because we hand people the mirror Come on. to to try to help us define mm. who we are. Mm. And people will define you by so much. Come on. They will define you by your past. They will define you by your, your money, mistakes. your lack of, yes, yes by your yes. mistakes, um, by your friendships, by your circles, by, by your, your zip code, spread, by Listen. your zip code, Come by on. your parents, Come on. by your level of education. Mm. Um, they will define you by so much. But God but defines God. you by the blood but of Jesus, God. right? Mm. So how he defines us should be our only determining factor yes. in how we embrace ourselves, yes. right? Yes. And so once I stopped letting others define who I was, mm. I had so much peace. No problem walking into your authority. I had so listen, much peace. Listen. Because other people wanted to define me, like you said, by mm-hmm. my mistakes. Mm-hmm. And some of the stuff like Pastor said, I did do. And we did do it. I, I was did I, do I, it. Yep. Self-accountability I, right? here. Absolutely. I, I was there. Uh-huh. For the hurt that I might have put on other people. <laughs> for yep. the pain that I could have caused yep. others. You know what I mean? Yep. For for some things that I'm not proud to say that Absolutely. I did. But thanks be to God for grace. Come on. Come right, on. because his blood covers to that too. Yes. Right, yes. I'm not running from what I did. Yes, I did that, but yes, God forgives me for that. Mm. So I'm not going to be defined by what I used to. Come be. on, <laughs> and you healing right? that, you, right? You can embrace your past and heal yes. from that because you what be I ashamed. used to be, I'm not there no more. Absolutely, and but that's Absolutely. a testament to God's favor, Come on. to God's grace, mm. right? So His hand on once us. I started, Ooh. let stopped letting others define who I was mm. and like what I did and hold, you know, and holding the past over my head and what I used to do. And, Oh, how could she be married to a pastor? Wow. She did this and that. Well, because I was chosen for mm. a purpose mm. from birth mm. till now. Mm. God has chose me for a purpose. Right. So oftentimes I found when pastor said this quote today about what you've been praying against is what you've been chosen for. I found myself times in my life. Set it up. Praying for, <laughs> People to not know me by like mistakes that were made, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. praying for people mm-hmm. to not know me by like, you may be like who my father was or what I've done mm-hmm. or mistakes mm-hmm. that were made mm-hmm. or my childhood things or college Absolutely. things. Just Absolutely. I was praying against that. Yes. But when pastor said that today, I said, baby, I got to stop because that makes me who I am. Listen, it's a part of the journey. It's a part, it's a of, part the journey. of the identity. It's the building. part of the yes. path that God yes. has me on. Yes. And all of that is a part of the testimony mm. of God can do all things. All things. He can heal. He can restore. He can use anybody, anybody. that is going to bring glory to his Yes. Man. That is the key part. Anybody. He can. He uses and anybody. He does. And, and he wants to use. And all of that, all of what we've been praying against or, you know, God, take this away. Right. Don't the thorns. Don't let people view yes. me like this. Or, yes. But that hurt is Necessary, necessary because he takes those hurts and he works even that out for our good mm. so that he can get the glory that's from the wants. past path that he has that's set for all us. all he wants. That's all he wants. He wants that's to give, all he wants. give it all to him. Right. That's all he wants. It's all a part of it. All matters. It's all a part of you being chosen. Right. Like yes. that is. And it's beautiful to see people even growing that way. It's about how you reframe it too. like yes. mistakes. But. But but, but 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 what you can't say about me right now is I'm not there anymore. Yes, right. Yes. To see the growth, to see the beauty. So it is. How do you embrace yourself after 
all of that, right? How do you embrace yourself after all of that? And you and can. How do you see yourself? You have to see yourself. This the listen, you gotta you get are. the woman mm. in the mirror book because when I tell you this, we all in the territory. <laughs> but you, like you said, you gotta see yourself as the new creature that you are. Mm. You have to see yourself as fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. Yes. See, and when you understand like who you are, who you are, mm-hmm. then you don't have to compete with anybody mm-hmm. else because I'm made different from you, and Ooh. that's the beautiful part of it all, I'm though. That it's not taking nothing from from you because mm. you were made different from me too yes but that's because yes. you have something to offer to the kingdom yes. that maybe i can't add yes but that's about that's that embracing who you are yes you got it like we were it. all chosen with a purpose and what i'm called to do you might not be called to do what pastor called to do we might not be called to do but we're all still needed and admiration of one yes, another for what absolutely. you bring that's something i did read um when we were kind of getting ready for this it said, only when you love freely with your personality and with your gifts can my freedom be experienced in you. I can't Ooh, experience yes. the freedom in you that That's you have in good. Christ when you so kept, you just caught up in everything else that you don't feel like you should be really embracing. But when you freely embrace yourself to say, I am a beautiful creature in Christ, I am. I'm going to walk in this boldly and confidently, it exudes. And that's what they yes, said. It, yes. That is what's what people find captivating, right? So when you're questioning, like, why do they, why do people be coming to me? Or why do they love that about me? It's because that's what God is using in you. And he said, that's what the world needed, right? The world needed to see that to draw others closer to me, right? So when we have that freedom in Christ, Oh, Lord, that's a testimony for me right now. When I rejected my faith on the job Ooh, and two weeks ago, I'm listen. sitting in my boss's office and she's telling me about hollow. She talked about a whole different app, Christian app. She was like, did you ever hear about this? She felt like she could talk to me about that in my one to one because Aww. she says the way I bring my faith to work. She, oh, she just has she never had that. that. And, yes. she, and, and she appreciates it. So when she's sharing these personal text messages about our faith journeys and what I've allowed myself to do on the job, which allows her to do it now, that freedom in Christ that we both can experience because somebody so boldly amazing. said, That's so amazing. I'm going to embrace God on the job because yes. I need to. In leadership, I need his leadership. <laughs> but it is, that was a very telling moment for me. Like, that is so amazing. And I remember you faith. first asking that question too. And oh like, my gosh. How can you embrace it and walk in it without like wearing it on the t-shirt? Exactly. But that's why he says, let my light shine through you. Listen. So that men will know who Men you serve. know who you serve. And you don't necessarily mm. have to carry your Bible with you. Come on, Pastor first thing. Used to say, <laughs> My landmark. Like people would rather see a Bible than hear a Bible. You know, people mm. would rather hear a Bible than see a Bible. Mm. Mm. So they would rather know that you're saved because yes. of how you act versus you that tell part. them. That part. Because if you telling them, but you ain't showing and it, you ain't showing it them. don't matter no way. That's, I'm confused. <laughs> And I don't want to follow. Good. I'm, I'm so God. happy for you. Oh my that, gosh. Though, because it was amazing. It is freedom in knowing like that I can be who I am in all Christ. the time. Yes. Like if you on my job, if you work with me, you already know. You saying. already know. So you and already I'm, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be generous, gracious, wherever I am. Absolutely. And if you don't want to be around me, there's plenty of space <laughs> in this room. <laughs> Okay. In this space. In this space. I don't care, <laughs> honey, because I'm not going to stop being who I am. It, you exactly. Don't like exactly. So, um, and and some people, people are uncomfortable with, with you being who you are. Ooh, but then the problem, problem lies with them. That ain't my problem. Okay? Listen, listen. And you got to take that issue up with God, yes. not me. Yes. So, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you want to do that, though. But um, at me. the other thing I want to say that Pastor said, um, going back to one of your previous points, he says, when you don't know the vision mm. for your next, you will keep. Go- um, so going ex. running to your ex and a lot of us mm, it's hard mm, for us mm. to even embrace who we are because we don't know like who wow. we are but then we don't know where we're headed right so you always gotta I'm have stuck. a vision for Oof. your own life and know that healing you know is for you that's yes. next for you you know what i mean um you gotta you go know, freedom is for you yes um he he wants you to win. Winning is mm. for you. Mm. Freedom looks good on you. Peace. You know, peace looks Joy. good on you. That's your next. <laughs> that is your you know, next. Um, always have something that you're working towards, mm. so that you don't keep running back to what you've been caught be. up in the past. Absolutely. You know? Ooh, um, yes, that was good too. Yeah. So, oh gosh, and then so knowing that you have been called to be set apart. And you have to say yes to being set apart. Yes. You, you have to and say that's yes. one of the problems. Like too mm. many of us like to fit in. But mm. I don't want to fit in with anybody. I don't, I don't. I'm okay with being set apart. Stand I want to be set apart. Mm-hmm. I want to stand, stand out from everybody else. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, God has been too good for me 
and to me for me to try to fit in with that part with what the world thinks that i should that be part. i want to be set apart i've been chosen listen, i am different listen so, and that's when we say our circles matter yes if you in a matter. circle that's not going to embrace that part of you and then what you doing you you look like them you look and like then you're them. going home saying i'm sorry god exactly i'm sorry i didn't show i I'm show sorry. them who i am through you you got to have people in your circle that allows you to authentically walk in christ and yes. they walking in them too right them or else too. you will be back you'll you be will back be in back. the same yeah. spaces that we said all the time grow. who you are with matters all day your circle matters all right? day um because your circle can either help you get to your next mm-hmm. or they can take you back to your ex like that all day said, all, all day. day so who you are with it matters but first lady okay i'm about to do i'm about to throw something at you oh and lord I, and i know but i'm just as we're talking about this i have a personal thing in my mind and so if we talk about our circles a lot mm-hmm. but what if there's somebody in your circle that and you're really trying to I don't want to say convert because that's not the word I'm looking for, but you really want that influence of Christ in your life to spill over in a life. And you okay. really want them. You want, you see it, you see something there. Um, but how long do you like, how long do you stick around in that, in that particular part of your circle in hopes that that person comes to Christ? Like, well, I would say it's, it's a struggle. It's, it, a, yes, it's a balance. It thing. is a struggle. <laughs> and I guess a clarifying question. Well, you don't have to answer it. Are they saved? No, no. Okay. So, um, you know, and it's always good to have people in, around you too that are not saved, right? Because we are called to the unsaved exactly. and we have exactly. to witness and mm-hmm. evangelize mm-hmm. and you don't want to throw the gospel down their throat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't want to throw salvation down their throat because it has to be their choice. Right. Right. Absolutely. So you just have to do your best to live Christ-like mm-hmm. while you're in their presence. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, if you find that they are not willing to accept you know your christianity mm-hmm. and they don't want to you know want you talking about it and you right know, blah, blah, blah. right okay well then you can back off okay but that does not mean that you still won't pray for them right people right. are powerless that's, against that's our fair. prayers right that's fair. so i have mm-hmm. a lot of people even you know on my job and stuff that they're not saved they've expressed to me that they don't want to be saved mm-hmm. but i still pray for them yes. all the time okay because that's they helpful. can't what they gonna do right right they take me to prayer right they are (laughs) right they are people are powerless against your prayers yeah and so you keep praying for them because really we know that there's power in prayer absolutely right there's so much power in prayer and prayer changes people's hearts and minds that's true and so your prayers could be what they need to change them right versus like and look at me embracing look, my right okay look at me. that's I, helpful I, I, i'm really embracing my spirituality <laughs> i'm really growing in christ can you tell oh my gosh <laughs> that is super helpful you don't have though. to ask them can they right. tell? like they should be able to tell without you asking them right so for sure um you know i and then i always ask god to give me the wisdom and the discernment mm-hmm. to know when to talk about him and who to talk now about. Now that's him good too. too. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's good. Because that's it might helpful. not yet be time. Right. You know? Right. People always say, well, you got to talk about him to everybody, mm-hmm. but you got to be led yeah. as well. Yeah. And you yeah. have, because God will always open up a door if you ask him if it's the right time. If it's the right time. And maybe God's you time. are just the one to plant the seed. Right. Maybe somebody else is going to come by and Ooh, water Oh, that's it. good. Okay. Right? It's a team yes. effort yes. in the kingdom. Collaborating so, with God. Um, yes. I know that I have people that mm-hmm. I have planted a seed in mm-hmm. and I've seen like on Facebook, they got saved like years later and they're at a different church. Mm-hmm. I'm like, thanks be to God. And, and you I said that, that. I planted a seed. you said that in and the they, last episode. And, yeah, Absolutely. They didn't come to our church and they not fellowship in here. That's all right. But I know that I planted that seed. I was somebody that God used and it takes multiple levels yes. sometimes. Right. And now they're so, embracing. Hey, right. They are in Christ. So I think praying, you know, for that person, mm-hmm. that, that person that, you know needs christ mm-hmm. um but then also asking god to give you encounters with others too like yes. we don't want to get stuck right just on, like I'm, right it's my one soul i'm working on no, exactly we, we got, you know how many people out here need saving <laughs> <Right. laughs> that is so helpful stuck on one that person is, yeah, right yes. like i want i always ask god to send me encounters mm-hmm. and send me people that i can be a witness to oh and the, and i tell you people who joined when today, he be sending listen, me, i'm like I listen no know you i didn't i don't even know where you came from man but he just sends people mm. right because i've been praying for that so pray for that I, that's so pray helpful. for that person that's so pray helpful. 
for new encounters, new opportunities, mm-hmm. like your supervisor. That was Woo. a new opportunity, a new encounter. Didn't even know. Um, you didn't even know. <laughs> didn't even See know. So I didn't even know. I think that's what we have to do as Christians. We have to just be praying for opportunities. For opportunities. Praying for encounters. But making making sure that we're ready even when those opportunities right. present themselves. Right. Right. Yep. Um, yep. I know oh, this, that's, this that's sounds great. weird, so don't laugh at me. But sometimes in the mirror, I'll be practicing like a <laughs> speech about to people. Like, listen, I've been what? saved this amount of time. And like, I just, listen, if you are not saved, girl, you got to get to know Christ. <laughs> like, if I told you really? what he did for me. Yeah, you got to practice I feel stuff. like when we do the podcast, it just be rolling off your tongue. Like, and if you don't know Christ. Because I'll be in the like, mirror. <laughs> I'll be in the mirror practicing. Okay. Yes. You got to be ready. So here's a, a practical strategy that you yes. can use, I'm right? You. To help others embrace the Christ yes. in them. Because Absolutely. it's well, a real thing. Because though. you think about it's it, we practice thing. everything else. That's true. We practice right. everything else. You're right? right. And when I'm trying to witness, I ain't got time to be stuttering and stumbling <laughs> over stuff. I stutter bad enough. I ain't got time See, to be. That's what that'd be me. Right. Like, ooh, exactly. My, and my shell. it helps you to build that confidence. Yeah, right, Jay? That's it, important. It, it, it really does. That's it helps important. you to build that confidence. So matter of fact, so last week at school, my principal was like, I need you to make this announcement, blah, blah, blah. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. In front of everybody. <laughs> okay. So I made the announcement. But the sweetest part was this lady came up to me afterwards and she was like, your light just shines wherever Aww, you are. Look at she you. She's like, whatever you do. She was just like, it's just natural. It's just in you. It's in you, and first I was lady. Like, oh. it, yes. But, you know, you I was like, light oh, on I practice a lot. Because like, right. <laughs> my, my pastor will put me on the spot. It, be, be ye ready, right? Be ye ever ready. So I'm telling you, you got to stay practiced oh up gosh. and prayed up. But, um, yeah, mm. so, but keep praying for that person. Keep Absolutely. praying for that individual. Pray, though, for new so encounters. Helpful. Pray for new opportunities. And for real, just keep living for him. Amen. Like, I just do that. Just keep living for him. Do that. Keep embracing who you are. And this goes for all of us. We have to keep embracing mm. who we are because God has chosen us Listen. for a purpose. And we can't help fix anybody else's crown. We can't help anybody else mm. get to where God is calling them to be if we aren't trying to get there ourselves. Right. right? That's good. Because yeah. you can always tell when somebody is broken still and mm. unhealed and they Bitter harbor and hate yes. and bitterness in their heart. Oof. You can tell it. You can tell it. Trying to fake it. Trying right. to put a mask right. on. It's right. going to bleed through. Absolutely. Yes. So do the you work. Right? That's good. Do the you yep. work. And yep. I had to do my own work for myself mm. years ago. Mm. And the, the crazy part is the you work is really never done. Like, because we're always literally at the same thought. Yep. Into, into yep. different people. And so, yep. and with each stage of our life, a different time. we are mm-hmm. evolving into different creatures. Yep. You know what I mean? Like the older my children get, I'm like, okay, this is a new phase new that I'm phase. not used to. Yes. And I've got to get some help for this new phase. Yes. Like learning how to like relinquish control, learning how to be, you know, 100% parent. I'm still a parent, but you know, now I'm in more like a me and pastor. What did he say? We're in like a a guiding, a counseling phase. Uh, like we're more counselors now. Mm-hmm. You know, we're kind of showing Gabby the way of how mm-hmm. to be an adult. We don't get to make all of her decisions right, for her anymore. Right. She has to make them. And we can counsel her mm-hmm. on making good choices. But ultimately, a lot of those choices are up to her. You know? But what she's seen, I'm sure, over right. time. Right? right. Like, That's she hell. has no problem embracing so, herself. Yeah. But so it's love, every day. Love who you are in Christ. Yes. And, like, this is just mm. some practical tips, like, um, that... Um, I like to do. And, and matter of fact, and this reminded me because you said it, Siobhan said it in Christ. I am. And who oh, are you yeah. in Christ? Oh yeah. You are redeemed. Thank you. You Lord. were bought with the price. Yes. You are free in Christ. You are loved in Christ. Yes. Um, and filled are, with his love. And you are filled yes. with his love. You have the Holy mm. Spirit with you mm. when you are in Christ. Yes. You are saved when you are in Christ. Right. You are worthy when you are in Christ. You are valuable when you are in Christ. You are so you are strong when mm. you are in Christ. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you are not weak when you are in Christ. Come on. Now, if you are outside of Christ, you are weak because off you don't have any strength. He's going to take his but hands above you. When you are in Christ. Come on. Right, I can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens me. You yes. understand that God is your strength. And he tells so, us to go be strong and courageous because yes, we got him. Because we right? got him. Yes. So this week, I we want you guys to do this activity. In Christ, I am blank. Blank. 
And who are you? And I'm going to post this in the group today. Love it. Like, who are you in Christ? (laughs) We are so Mm. much more than what the world says that we are. Never forget, Mm. don't allow other people to define you. Period. All right? Because they will never define you by who you really are. They Mm. will always define you by the wrong thing. They think they know. Know who you are. Mm. And and who you are always starts with Christ. Mm. Amen. Amen. So we love you on today. Yes. And if you don't know the Christ that we talked about today, if you don't know how to define (laughs) yourself like he does, all you have to do is accept him in your hearts. All right. You have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. He died on the cross. He shed his blood because Mm. he loves you. Yes. He loved me, Siobhan. He loves Loves me. And he loves you. Thank you. Whoever is listening to this, never forget that God loves you so much that mm. he gave. I'm talking about his only son. We have a hard time giving up our only of anything, right? Nothing. And so just imagine mm. that he loves you so much so that he gave his only son mm. to die for you. To live freely. Yes. Mm. So he gave a life for life. Mm. He gave his son's life for your life. Yes. And we owe him now. We owe I said him. that today in Sunday school. He owns me and I owe him Ooh. because of, he owns me because he bought me. Yes. Right. And I owe him Just because he bought me. Yes. And because he gave the ultimate sacrifice. Mm. You hear me? I can't Fresh say I'm giving up it. my child for nobody, but he did. And Lord thank you, Lord, God. because you thought that I was worth saving. So um, thank you, Jesus. So thank if you, you don't Lord. know God, mm. if you don't know Jesus, the only way to get to God is through his son. Through his son. So you got to accept jesus all right Mm -hmm. so we pray that you do that in your heart don't forget the woman in the mirror is october 4th and 5th and i cannot wait where the hand claps at jay yes get some hand claps jay jay like listen (laughs) he's tired of us he said 10 minutes (laughs) all right so look it's an extended extended hand (laughs) really suck I'm really bring out some new sounds. You gonna do everything? <laughs> you, we got son, some pettiness sometimes in our show. My son being petty. <laughs> Since y'all wanna do that, it's all right. Press all it's the all right. It's all good. It's all good. October fourth to fifth. <laughs> Everybody, clap your hands. Listen. Listen. October fourth oh to fifth. Though, it is going down. Friday, pastor. Our pastor will be it's preaching. Be oh so my lit. God! When I tell you, I'm gonna have to be on time. Listen. God working on me. He about to like <laughs> that Friday. Oh, you gonna be here early because you gotta work, right? We we gotta work. right. I'm gonna be here already. So he is. It's going down. I just I know he oh has a word for us. Mm-mm-mm. He been had a word. He been it's he ready. barely he said, a bit, he been ready. had a word. Then Two months ago. Saturday, uh, First Lady Camille Monk will join Listen. us, and she is gonna bring a dynamite what? word on that Saturday. What? I tell you, she about to snap. I love Lady Monk, and oh I know that gosh. she has a word for us. So I can't wait. It's going the down. whole weekend is about to go down. So join feel. us. Well, registration is pretty much capped off, but Friday night is open I like, to Friday. the public. Um, and then we are we do have like a wait list, so Shima, mm-hmm. uh, Sasha can work mm-hmm. with you to get on that. So. We love you guys, we though. Love Embrace you. who you are. Embrace you want to pray us out real quick, Siobhan? I can pray us out. Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us to this table thank yet you, once Lord. again, Lord. Thank you for just seeing something in us, choosing us, Lord, yes, to even God. walk on this earth and be a demonstration of who you are in our lives, God. We ask that you continue to work through our hearts, Lord. Please. Allow us to see us in you, Lord, so that we can go out into the world and show you, show them that there is something better, Lord. There is yes, something God. great that they have for their lives, too. If they just stick close to you, Lord, that you can reveal it to them, Lord. We ask that the individuals that listen to this podcast heard something that is life changing to them, Lord, that draws them closer to you, God, yes, and their Lord, purpose that you have please, called them Jesus. for, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank love you. Lord. We ask we that you forgive you. us for anything we've committed against you in our thoughts and our actions and in our speech, Lord. We ask that you go with us from this table. With be with us God. on this week, Lord. Allow us to be the light that you've called us to be we love you we thank you and in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. and as always we, we love, love you and you can't, can't do nothing, nothing about, about it. it until next time bye